So the plan this morning was to uh, get up for sunrise, obviously, it's a photography trip. And uh, as you can probably hear, uh, it's just a repeat of what we had yesterday afternoon, which is just absolutely incredibly violent storms <laughs> with lightning and heavy, heavy rain, uh, a little bit of um, uh, hail. So uh, we kind of hunkered down this morning, but unfortunately this morning I had to do my morning constitution <laughs> And it was it was almost an, an epic adventure just doing that. Uh, uh, Alex, uh, I, I went and grabbed the trowel from Alex, and I'm up on the hill there trying to dig a hole in the rain. It's getting stronger and stronger, lightning more violent, and uh, it, was the, it was the quickest poo I've ever done in my life. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was an epic epic journey. I'm sure you wanted to hear that story, but uh, yeah, it was it was quite an adventure. Hello, hello everybody and welcome, welcome to the Drakensberg in South Africa. 
Now if you've been following my channel for the last few weeks, hopefully I would have come out with some video from uh, Namibia. Uh, now the videos might have got, not have come out if uh, I had a tragic accident with my video footage, but hopefully you've seen those videos. And if you haven't, I'll leave a link up in the corner. So. Uh, if you've been following along, uh, this trip kind of evolved uh, after seeing some uh, videos from photographer Alex Nail. Alex has a, a channel on YouTube and he did a, a, a series of videos on the Drakensberg. And uh, as soon as I saw those videos, I knew I, I had to, to come here and see it for myself. So if you haven't seen those videos, I'll also leave a link to one of those where you can get started or Alex's channel. Um, but what can I say? I mean, the, the I mean, I've been to a lot of really exciting areas, uh, but this definitely is up there with the top uh, of the areas that I've been to in in terms of dramatic landscape. So where I'm standing right now, uh, we've been hiking for two days now. We took our time. Uh, the first camp we we camped quite low low down in the valley. Got a little bit of elevation gain. Uh, we just had some just absolutely incredible uh, thunderstorms last night uh, with lightning and, and heavy rain, hail, you name it, we had it. And uh, it was a little bit scary actually. And then this morning, it was, a, it was almost a repeat of the evening, which is really quite surprising. So we kind of thought that we might end up in the tents for the whole day. But by about nine, nine, ten o'clock, the weather cleared. So we made our way up to this plateau here. Uh, it's a pretty good hike. It's uh, around nine to a thousand meters. Uh, not very far, maybe four or five kilometers, but it's, it's a grind. But what I'm looking at right now are these, these huge uh, spires. So, and you're standing right on the edge. So it's a, it's a little sketchy, uh, but very dramatic. And uh, I'm really happy that I came. So as always in all of my videos, uh, my approach is pretty simple. Uh, first, I'm going to have a bit of a rest. The sun is starting to set, so I don't have a lot of time to look for compositions, but the, the subject matter is pretty, pretty obvious. So I'm going to see if I can find at least one image tonight. Uh, I'm pretty knackered actually, so I'm, I'm not all up on the photography part of it, but I'll, I'll see if I can get at least one image tonight and hopefully we'll get a bit of light. Oh, we're getting a bit of light right now, so must have heard me. All right, let's see what we can find here. Well, we did get a little bit of light on the landscape that evening, so it wasn't a bad start to our backpacking trip into the Drakensberg. One of the things that I did struggle with though is uh, sensory overload. Each day we would hike to a new location and set up camp and it was usually close to an epic view. And of course the great thing about the Drakensberg is that the weather is so variable it changes every five minutes. One minute it might be pouring with rain and then the next minute you'll have these beautiful light beams. But what I did have trouble with though was finding compositions that would portray the grandeur of each location. For example, here is an image of the cliffs behind me from that evening, and these cliffs are at least 300 meters high, but my photo does nothing to portray that. Now granted, the light is not great in this shot, but one thing that is lacking in this image and most of my images from Drakensberg is a sense of scale. And I think the only way to really portray scale uh, against these cliffs is to have some kind of human element. And it's very similar to when I'm photographing big old trees on the west coast of Vancouver Island. Uh, it's very hard to portray them if there's nothing close to them that we can relate to. So next time I go to the Drakensberg, I will probably include more people in the landscape. Well, it's an absolutely stunning view this morning. Uh, now it, it, it sounds like I'm com com complaining here. It's, uh, I'm finding it to be pr pretty much a one-shot deal uh, with the layers. Now, of course, you, you can get the expansive view and then 
zoom in to the different layers but it's all pretty much on the same theme which is fine i think that the colors the very first thing were really nice it's gone quite blue now which i quite like but of course as the sun comes up hopefully we'll get some uh, warm light on some of these these steep cliffs here as i look down into the valley here there's this beautiful green velvety uh, kind of texture to the hills and uh, you this is pretty much where we hiked up from so uh, you know when you're hiking up it, it was pretty steep but as I'm looking down uh, you realize how steep it really is and of course with these cliffs some of them are a thousand meters high uh, it's it's pretty impressive so I'm just gonna wait for the Sun to come up and then uh, I'll continue to pinpoint uh, compositions in the landscape as, uh, as, the, as the sun comes up. For this photograph, I exposed for the middle of the frame here, which is the brightest area. And even with the uh, Fujifilm GFX 100S, bringing up those underexposed shadows did uh, introduce some noise. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to try out the new version of Lightroom and the Denoise AI. Tried it out and it does an absolutely fantastic job. So if you haven't tried it out yet, I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, quite quite boggy <laughs> up on this plateau well, kind of reminds me of Scotland a little bit except the plants are, are quite different uh, that was a pretty good good morning uh, certainly spectacular um, uh, scenery up here that's for sure it's quite epic um, I think my the last shot that I took uh, probably had the best composition but of course the light was getting a little bit harsh I might I might be able to save it uh, it looked like the the shadows were pretty dark uh, basically I had a nice little foreground there with uh, two or three big boulders and then there was a gully to the right where you could see the uh, the valley beyond it just looked really nice and of course then you have the layers of the mountains behind and the clouds but the Sun is getting pretty high in the sky starting to get warm so the light is not quite as good as it was first thing but I'd say a, a pretty good start to the trip hopefully we'll, we'll continue to get uh, good conditions for photography um, today we're hiking not very far maybe four or five kilometers with a little bit of elevation gain uh, just along this cliff line to uh, get some different angles of these epic spires and uh, cliff faces.
thank you ever so much, folks, for watching this week's video. I really appreciate it. Uh, before I leave you, I just want to give a huge shout out to Alex Nail for supplying a lot of this week's video. So thank you, Alex. If you haven't seen Alex's photography, go check out his website. I'll leave a link down below. And uh, I highly, highly recommend one of his adventure tours to either Iceland, the Drakensberg, or Scotland. So go check those out. Thank you ever so much, folks. Bye-bye.